Hello everyone, it's Chris Sikili Taka, and it's time for this week's Rummage Sale Thrift Finds video haul. And this is from Sunday, August 9th through today, August 15th. And the only reason I went shopping on Sunday was because I went back for more of those reference books. Okay. So, one of the things I found, because I'm desperate to find Halloween stuff, was this little lady. Um, I don't normally buy too much Atlantic mold or Holland mold stuff. Not sure which one this was. Can't quite read the signature. This cost me two. It did have a, another light with it, but it was a little broke. Um, so we did replace the light with a new one. And what's unique about this is that someone decided not to try to balance the cord underneath to the bottom to light the jacqueline, they drilled a hole in the back so that this would lay flat and secure, which I kind of liked. Now she's not in perfect shape. She's got paint loss and it's more paint loss than chips. I haven't really felt like a huge chunk, well, okay, one chip that was well painted over when she got it because that has color over it. But she's very cute. I will try to sell her. She's a bit heavy though, but she will come with a new light. down on the floor gently. All right, where shall I start <laughs> besides that thing? Okay, um, how about with these unique glasses? So I found there were a bunch of these, not all in green though. There were some brown and just plain clear. And I was like looking, I'm going, those are different. I go, well, they look like they could be uranium glass because they're that shade of green, but they, they don't look that old. But sure enough, it lights right up. So if I can fit these into my cabinet, these ones I think I'll keep because I don't have that many tall things in there. I mean, I have the pitcher and uh, dad's vase in there, but they were in the glass section and there were smaller versions of this in brown. So I do think they're glasses, but you could easily use them as vases as well. They're so tall. So I did buy a bit of breakables again. I try to avoid them, but... <laughs> I saw this divided Pyrex dish and it was only $3.25 and I didn't really have much in my cart at that point and I drove all the way out to Gwyn from Marquette and so I got it. It turns out it's uh, what I would call brown snowflake but it's called town and country and it's from basically the 60s. I do think this lid has been replaced. It's a well-fitting lid overall like it's the right size for the pan but I believe the divided bottoms had divided lids as well originally but it I still will sell it with this lid because it fits so nicely and if it doesn't sell I won't be heartbroken because I actually don't own any divided Pyrex myself and gently oh yeah and there's no chips cracks or anything in either section uh, these I'm just going to keep their little, uh, uh, Twix and Cocoa Puffs bowls. Um, they're modern ones, but our cereal bowls are getting a little old and deadly. So I thought I'd place a couple of those. Okay. Oh, my confusing find of the week. I found these awesome. What I thought were shark planters, but at first I thought they were wall pockets because they had this hole in them, like, but then the fin's in the way. And what they turn out to be, they are just made in China. They're marked DW144, and that's for something warehouse. I'm blanking all of a sudden. But they're actually tiki mugs. Now, and the hole is for the straw to go through because there's no way you could drink like that out of them. But they're very cool shark tiki mugs. There was one other there, but it was kind of, it had a little bit of a dis defect in this area, so I said I'd just take the two that were in better condition. So I had to sell those ones on eBay instead of Etsy, because they ended up being modern. Uh, my, my find of the week, for a quarter, a Taylor and Oh, I can't pronounce, is it Nang? They just, but it's from 1979 and it's, you know, made in Japan and it's a naughty hippo mug. 
And there's a whole series of these naughty mugs. But this, I looked up on eBay sold. And it goes for up. Someone sold one for $39.95 with shipping included. So I could list it for $30 and have them pay shipping. Um, so that is my score of the week. That will pay for everything else, I think. And at the same place I got the Pyrex, I don't. I haven't been picking up much dishware because it's harder to store, but I have been cleaning while working on an art project. So... This looks so pretty and so mid-century. It's like a giant rice bowl shape because it's got that, you know, definite oriental style. But it's musical instruments and it kind of looks like a lute and a harp. And I'm sure I will have to look up what those are called in the oriental culture because I'm sure these are very specific to them. But it's a nice little, like, speckled pottery. Not sure if that's showing. But I paid a dollar twenty-five for it. I figured it was worth that. It's very pretty. And back further. And then today of desperation because there were so few rummage sales, we went back to Goodwill. And I got these two plates. And I was noticing the colors are slightly different on the yellows, but they do look like they're from the same set. It might be one got used more, but they're still really bright and vibrant roosters. And again, anything that's an animal sale, in either my Etsy, eBay, or Macari, a portion of that sale goes to an animal charity. So, like, for roosters and barn animals, it goes to Sunrise Animal Sanctuary. For, like, more pets, like dogs and cats, it goes to my local shelter, UPAS. And they're really neck and neck right now. Um, but they are Taylor Smith and Taylor. Uh, forgot the pattern name already. I looked it up five minutes ago and already forgot it. Uh, Rebel, I think it was. And then I got this cake platter. I did very well with my atomic cake platter. And they, I loved that they missed center. It was great. But it says it's Harkerware. Um, pottery Studios established 1840. No, I don't think this is from 1840. But it's a very pretty green mid-century plate. And it's got that kind of limish green color. Um... Good. My battery's on though. I gotta hurry. <laughs> but for 99 cents, I thought I'd give that a try. Since I was already putting plates in. Alright. Figurines. So, I picked this up for a whole 19 cents. Uh, and yes, that's exactly... Not 20 cents, 19. It's a little, like, Tanala-like bird, but no signatures. And this looks so good. I can't believe there's not a signature. I paid two bucks for it. It's a bigger fish. But I couldn't believe there wasn't a signature under there. Because it's so well done. I mean, it kind of looks like it's chipped. But this is where it rests. Anywhere that looks like it's a chip, that's the rest spot for the fish. And it's just so well painted. It's definitely hand painted still. Like, did someone just forget to mark one? Or is this not they didn't think it was high quality enough to mark. I don't know, but that's a, it's really well done. And then I picked up what should be Perdita by the collar, but is really Pongo by the face. That's Pongo, but Pongo's collar is red, Perdita's collar is blue. So I was wondering when I got under here if it was going to be like some knockoff because they got it wrong. But it's marked Disney underneath. So I am confused. Maybe in the... I, I don't think I've ever seen 102 Dalmatians. Maybe they switch color col colors there. But it definitely looks like male Pongo and not female Perdita. And yes, I'm not into Disney. I can know that. Um, and it's not even one of my favorite Disney movies. So, But dog figurines sell well. And this does look older to me even though there was a tag on it before like a store tag because it is got some crazing on it and it's not symmetrical crazing so uh a couple fun finds uh they were rolled up in a bowl in the wood section i'm like how many people did those scare today but they're just cute little snakes you probably got them on a trip but they're fun they make great noise so I probably will try and sell them just as a nice little gift you could put fit into a stocking for Christmas. All right.
Then I rummaged till yesterday, splurged and bought something for myself. Leggings, Lulu Bro leggings. So I got Donald, who was three dollars, and Mickey, who was five dollars. Since these normally go for twenty-five, brand new, I'm not going to complain. I've washed them once, and I can still smell her detergent, though. I think I might have to go to Febreze. Um, <laughs> but. I figured I wasn't going to get any better deal than the average of $4 a piece because I was literally wearing my shirt with both Mickey and Donald on it yesterday. So, But that's a good deal, and I did try one on, and they fit, which I was still shocked about. All right, this is my sad purchase because it looks so gorgeous. It's got a great glaze. It's marked USA right in the little corner. And you can't tell in this light. You have to get it out in the sun. There is a crack all the way through right there but it's it feels like it's under the glaze like it cracked and they sealed it with the glaze so I'm like is that a manufacturer's defect because there's nothing there I can't feel it I only caught it when it went into the sunlight I mean I only paid two bucks if nothing else I'll keep it and plant and Rita will plant something in it um but I was very sad because it's got a great shape to it but I didn't see that in the store at all all right, wall hangings. So I just grabbed this cute little uh, Inesco wall hanging. Uh, apology. Although you'll find our house a mess, come in, sit down, converse. It doesn't always look like this. Some days it's even worse. And there's like cute little roosters in there, so I guess I'm having a little rooster theme this week. And then I did look to see if they had any more of these. This is by Amana, um, handmade furniture company. Uh, and it's just a cute screech owl wall plaque thing, so. And then the other cute wall plaque I picked up was this one. Um, terrier of some kind, schnauzer maybe. But it was a really cute dog, it just needs some cleaning. It's by Hand Decorated by Design Tiles of New York City. The cork on this product is provided by Portugal. Because <laughs> it's a tile in a frame. All right, toys. I'm trying to run through before we get out. <clears throat> so I picked up Elf here. I paid up a little, $1.49. Um, I'm not gonna keep this one, I have my giant one. But I bought a couple of Elf books over the summer and I thought I would put this with a couple of Elf books in a lot. And someone from my generation will buy it to teach their kids about Elf. <laughs> and then I think I bought myself toys. Okay, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Ursula. And I believe this is what the queen turns into in Brave. So I think this is the queen in bear form. So I think I bought those for me. Okay. Turn to rush. All right, one puzzle. I only did one puzzle this week. I got a little burned out on that baseball one. So, but it's Justice League, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Figured that would probably sell well once it was done. I, I threw these in my cart at St. Vinny's thinking they were a dime a piece, and they were 50 cents a piece. But I'm not sure. I had one more downstairs. I'm not sure if I repeated a title or not, but they're little pop-up books, and they're from the original 80s Strawberry Shortcake, so I thought they'd make a cute little lot together. I couldn't resist Animaniacs. And then this book, I, I probably will sell, although it's definitely glad it's going media mail then. I do have an envelope this big, too. Um, so it's a century of model trains. <laughs> and it is heavy. And then today I got the Tay of Piglet. Uh, I got Cubert. Because it just was amazing that there was actually a Cubert product. And then I have the reference books. This reference book was actually inside another. I didn't know it. It's called Torquay Pottery Marks. I've never even heard of Torquay Pottery, but there's like 50,000 marks in here. So that'll be useful. Then this one's Koval's Co New Dictionary of Marks. So it makes sense that they would hide the other mark book in it. Um, eight Pottery and Porcelain 1850 to the present, which I believe is 87, 89 on this one, but still very useful. Okay. 
teddy bears and stuff. Um, I'm in the room of the teddy bear collector, so we thought that would be fun alone. And I do own a few stifes, so uh, a Delphite and Jade manual. A glass animal. A uh, back bar brewery book, which includes like all those little figurines for bear companies that bear companies that are supposed to like hold the bottles. Uh, and a California pottery book. So she had a lot of specific pottery books as well, but for $2 a piece, I think I maxed out. I can only carry so much. I had to go to once a la Saturday last week, and that was in last week's video, and this is from Sunday. So I thought this was a better grab to get the, the more general. And then I picked this up, even though it was a year specific, 1886-87, hoping I could find an example of the silver piece I picked up last week. And I, I came close... And from what I can tell, it's supposed to be a baking thing, but you can't put silver plate in the oven. So it must have had a glass insert at one point, like some of my group suggested. But I still haven't listed that because I still don't know enough about it to list it. So still on the hunt for that. All right. Sorry for the little bit of rushing, but I did get the low battery signal during the video. So I should probably finish up and plug it in. All right. Thanks for watching. Links to my Etsy and eBay trash get your treasure store down below.